Is Prince Harry shadow boxing with Prince William? He doesn't have to, but it certainly seems that's what he's doing. Well, let me tell you why. Well, I understand that Prince Harry may have wishes to continue on with Invictus Games and all the other charitable deeds that he did in his previous life as a senior working royal. It's rather difficult to live that kind of lifestyle when you have to create an income that will support your lifestyle. So with that being the case, his charitable deeds seems to be questionable, like the motives, if it's something that he really believes in, and I'm sure usually he is. But you also have to wonder with charitable deeds, how much of that is really going to charity based on the lifestyle that we see Meghan Markle and Prince Harry living. So my question tends to be, what are Harry and Meghan's motives? Do they plan to be Hollywood superstars or are they going to be an alternative royal? I don't know. I would love to know what they plan to be. Another type of royal and they also want to dabble into a little bit of Hollywood and blend the two worlds and make it a hybrid, but that's never been successful before. So it's kind of interesting to see how they'll end up with that. But with that being said, Welcome to Royalty Time. Welcome to Royalty Time. My name is Carla and I am a royal watcher. Thank you so much for joining me today. And as you can see, this is a fairly new channel. So any like, comment or subscribe to this channel would be greatly appreciated. So thank you very much. Also, if you like gossip, tea, and jewelry, then this is definitely the channel you would like to be a part of because that's what I do. I talk about those things and I talk about them a lot. So everything you see on my page based is based on my research. So if you disagree, then you are entitled and you are very welcome to do your own research. So please feel free. With that being said, is Prince Harry shadow boxing with Prince William. When you look at the philanthropic endeavors of the Royal Foundation and what they actually do, their initiatives, it is, everything is very transparent. However, when we look at the Archwell Foundation, which is here out of the United States on behalf of Prince Harry or Duke and Duchess of Sussex, it's a little questionable if you ask me. A lot of their business dealings intertwine with their philanthropic business, which really it should be two separate things, separate and apart, and they seem to all gel together. So it's really hard to tell when it's authentic and altruistic or if it's for financial gain. It's really hard. It's really hard to figure it out, um, which is really self-defeating but there's a whole lot going on within the next several months because again in may of 2023 the king's coronation will take place on may 6th also known as master archibald's birthday that's a whole nother story we'll get into that later but within the next month and week we have two things that are taking place on december 2nd you have Earthshot Summit intro, I believe it's called that. So earlier this evening, Prince William did announce the Earthshot finalist list tonight, which is really cool because on December 2nd, the Earthshot, <laughs> sorry, the Earthshot Prize and Innovative Initiative, Prince William did announce the finalists for the Earthshot Award this year, awards this year. It's five awards, five categories. And those five categories for Earthshot are the restoration and protection of nature, air cleanliness, ocean revival, my favorite one, uh, waste free living, and climate action. So the five finalists are listed. And out of the five, honestly, the United States has one nomination, which is Lanzatech, which I find not surprising, but surprising because it is the United States. And again, it is the United States. Why are we even in that category now? I think it's just as a matter of giving us something because they're coming over here. 
<laughs> and it'll be kind of weird to be hosting this event and we don't even have any finalists. So that might have been like, ugh, there you go. And the company Lanzatech is in aviation biofuel um, for the United States, which is a save your planet category. It's more efficient aircraft fuel. Emission, it cuts emissions or CO2 by 20 to 98%. I mean, it really depends on it then compared to conventional jet fuel, which if you know the if you know America, I believe we have the most flights in and out of this country than any other um, country in the world. So if we can release or reduce our carbon footprint for that, yes. And that's the Royal Foundation, some of the, the, the work that they do, Prince William and Kate Middleton. We also are going to talk a little bit about Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's Archwell Foundation and their charitable deeds to give them all fair play. Quite frankly, it's rather difficult to really know what they're doing because it seems to be so much. It's a lot of direction. If you go onto the website, you'll see what I'm talking about. It just, it's a lot. Um, I'm going to actually do screenshot by screenshot. Relief for Nigeria. And then when you click on to the website, it takes you to the relief of it, how to, um, in response to catastrophic flooding in Nigeria, which displaced over 1 million people, destroyed homes and farmlands, and taken the lives of hundreds. It appears that they partner with other foundations and other charities. Instead of actually doing something with the foundation, they provide you with links and tell you that that's who they support. So this is my take on Harry and Meghan's foundation. I believe they're struggling and I believe they're panicking. Yes, and let me tell you why. They're struggling simply because I don't think they have a lot of donations. I don't think they have a lot of that going on. They may have partnerships, but as far as people actually donating into their cause, not so much, which is why I believe Hollywood is having that hot, cold relationship right now, right now with them. Celebrities don't really know how to take them. So I don't think that a lot of people even know how to interact with them. I believe Megan has already mentioned that she no longer wishes to act. So what do they plan on doing for the rest of their lives? Which is why it's very difficult to be in their corner when they play victim to the royal family, when they could be doing so much more for themselves, for the world, when all they do is just claim to be victimized and on so many levels, being a victim as a woman, being a victim in the palace, just being a victim as being the spare. They're just victims, but they want you to believe in their cause and to donate or I don't even know what they're asking people to do because it's not quite clear to me. It's hard to even figure out what they're doing. My fervent wish for Prince Harry because I actually, I grew up wanting to see him win. Never realizing that he was referred to as a spare. We're from America. You don't really pay attention to stuff like that. It was just Princess Diana's kids and he was the son of Princess Diana. So I grew up in his corner through all of his wild and crazy years. So I want to see him do very well and be happy as most of us do or did. But, you know, you're over here now, Prince Harry, whining and screaming and begging. And it's like, oh, why? <laughs> but he has taken the back seat to Meghan Markle and it drives me up a freaking wall because he doesn't have to do that. He doesn't have to do it. Oh, all right, all right, I'm gonna be calm. From here on out. She, this is where most people have that problem with Meghan Markle because she was known as being a social climber and doing what she had to do to get where she had to go and to even be who she is. She didn't 
grow up into this environment, into this lifestyle. She did what she did to hook and get her Prince Harry and she got him. And now he's like conforming to this lifestyle that she never really lived. <laughs> That's how I know they're not in a good place because they are not authentic in what they're doing and who they're trying to be. And that's really unfortunate because I think they have potential, but they're leaning into being anti-royal, but semi-royal. And instead of embracing Harry and Meghan, they're holding on to being anti this or anti-establishment. And that's frustrating. And that's when it becomes important to know like what foundations they're part of, if they're keeping most of the foundation money to go towards charity or is it going towards them? You have to question it because you don't know. You don't know. You don't. Anyway, royalty right now. Okay. Okay. We got December 2nd coming up, which is Prince Harry's Earth, I'm sorry, Prince William's Earthshot Award Summit. And then on December 6th, which is four days later, you have Prince Harry and Meghan Markle or Duke and Duchess of Sussex receiving the Ripple of Hope Award from the Robert F. Kennedy Foundation. So they're being recognized for their work on the subjects. I'm going to read this because I don't want you to think I'm making this up on their work on racial justice and mental health. Someone please, if you don't mind putting in the comments, telling me what they did regarding racial justice, because I couldn't find anything anywhere. If you know, please let me know. I could be wrong. Yeah, is Prince Harry shadow boxing with Prince William because with Prince Harry, we've got Netflix, we've got his memoir, Spare, we have the podcast with Meghan Markle, we've got all these business ventures intertwined with their Archwell Foundation, which is intertwined with their outreach. I don't even really know what they're doing as, if, as far as doing outreach. I don't know if they really get their hands dirty into these things or if they just partner with these places. That's a whole other thing. You don't really know what they do. When it comes to that, like, how do they, where do they stand? I mean, it's great to have all these affiliations of charities, but, and I understand that Meghan Markle's, um, her, one thing that she's passionate about is women and empowering women. And it feeds into the foundations. I'm not really understanding where Prince Harry's passion is within these, this foundation. I don't really see that here. I mean, I know the Invictus Games, I hope he really doesn't, I hope he doesn't drop the ball on that. Prince Harry seems to be out of his element. It makes you wonder how long someone can live the lie. I don't think Megan is really, because you know what? Megan is used to living this way, hustling and maneuvering about and trying to make it pop. Prince Harry is having some issues because it's kind of alarming. You know, he's, you know, we'll see. But with that being said, I would love to thank you for tuning in today and thank you for your comment in advance. And so what do you think? Put it in the comment section. Let me know. Be kind. This is a safe space for everyone to voice their opinions without being attacked. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>